Urinary catheter management is an essential skill for residents and hospitalists in general. Knowing their types, how to manage them, how to troubleshoot them, their proper indications, how to when to remove them, how to manage any complication after removal. When to when do we call urologist to place or manage to place this catheter or manage a complication of that? All these are part of this essential skill that we need to know and be comfortable with because this is a frequent things that we will encounter in in patient settings we have to know also hospital in us pay a great deal of attention to this catheter and they try to minimize their use as much as they can so they minimize the complication associated with it that comes with a financial loss and penalties from Medicare and other insurance companies. Let's start. Urinary catheters are either of, I can say, invasive or non-invasive or external. From their name, the difference, the invasive, the tip of the catheter here sits in the urinary bladder while here this is external the invasive one are either urethral that getting to the urinary bladder through the urethra or supra pubic getting to the bladder through the supra pubic area the supra pubic usually placed by surgeon by urologist or gynecourologist, urologist usually for long term use to avoid long term urethral complications that come with long term urethral catheters the urethral catheters, on the other hand, can either be intermittent, which means we put the catheter in and out the bladder, the bladder, and the other name sometimes we use straight cath. Please straight cath this patient, which means the cath is in and out, drain the bladder and then out. The other one is the end willing this is the catheter that we put it in the bladder and stay in for continuous drainage of the bladder the other name the famous name for this uh, uh, is Foley's catheter they named after the first surgeon who put it in his name I think Frederick Foley's this is a Foley catheter a demonstration of that and as you see here there is a balloon port because there is a balloon here that usually gets inflated once this in the bladder this is the bladder opening here the balloon here and this is where we inflate the balloon with water or saline and this is where we drain the urine and you see here different sizes first of all this is what we call a uh, two ports catheter or two ways catheters and this is the size by french the french usually if you divide it this is the diameter of the catheter if you divide the french by three let's say 18 by three then i mean it's six millimeter diameter just to give you a, a good guide in most cases in adult we need to use 14 to 16 French catheters and that should be good whether males or females that's one thing now there is other catheter that have an extra port we call them three-way catheters and these are usually larger bore usually 20 to 24 French and mainly used for CBI, continuous bladder irrigation. Mainly when we're dealing with hematuria and clots, we put a three-way 
catheters one for the balloon one to drain the urine and one to infuse the saline in it's a continuous irrigation just to give you an idea about the Foley catheter so most of the time we'll be using this uh, unless we're doing CBI we are doing a continuous blood irrigation a larger size in the United States most hospital most hospital if not all these Foley catheters are placed by nurses and they are usually the one who decide the size for the patient once the catheter is in they inflate the balloon they fill it with a pre-filled syringe that comes with a kit to fix the balloon in the bladder the other type the non-invasive this is the external one and mainly here we are talking about the condom catheters for males and pouch catheters for males and females and to give you an idea this is how it basically works you see this like a condom and it's external you don't have to go to the urethra there is no catheter it's a condom to collect the urine into the bag the pouch catheter works in a similar way the the whole reason the main reason for these newly introduced catheters catheters uh, that to avoid urethral injuries because you don't have to enter the urethra and to reduce infections and this is really operator dependent depends how cleanly you manipulate these catheters